plank and thanks for joining me for today's chair workout. You will be using a long TheraBand. If you do not have a TheraBand, that is perfectly fine. Everything we're doing with the TheraBand is optional just to make things more intense. But if you do have that TheraBand, let's talk about how we're going to set it up. So we're going to thread it underneath the reformer, but just, excuse me, the chair, but make sure that it's not going to be in the way of the spring. So I'm going to put it above the springs so that when the springs go down and up, it's not going to be in any conflict with the springs. And so what we're going to be doing is some rowing motions and different arm motions. So as long as you can hook that up on your chair and be facing your pedal and do some arm movements, you should be fine. Now we're going to just kind of slide that to the side. We do not need that yet. We'll use that in a few minutes. We're going to start laying down. So we will have our pedal. I have two slots and I'm going to be on a 2-2. Two -two. So that means I've got a number two and a number two on each side. I know every chair will be a little different, um, but most of them will have a number system or you can be the second from the bottom or basically the second hardest. Um, where four would be the hardest and one would be the easiest. We're on 2-2. Two -two. So let's go ahead and lay down. Now, once you lay down, just be aware that when you pull that pedal towards you, so if you can bring your heels in the pedal, when you pull the pedal towards you, it's going to come down and towards you. So you might be a little farther away than you might think so. So a little bit more than a 90 degree bend. So we're gonna put our heels on, feet flexed, let the arms rest by your sides. Take a nice inhale to prepare, and we're just going to pull that bar towards you Activate your hamstrings, pull those abdominals in that corset drawing tight, and hold for three, two, one, and then gently release that bar back up. Let's do that again. Exhale as you pull the bar in, nip the ribs, pull the abdominals in tight, and hold three, two, one, and release it back up. And big inhale, exhale, squeeze and pull, three, two, one, and release it. We'll do that three more times. Exhale, squeeze and pull. Really big hold, not holding the breath, just holding that engagement. And then release. Two more to go, squeezing those heels down, contracting through the back of the legs, starting to build some heat through the back of the legs. And release down. Next time we're gonna take it and hold it, reach the arms up to the ceiling, holding that pedal nice and low so we're not letting the pedal lift up. You're gonna do a nice curl, upper body curl, reaching the arms along your sides, looking right towards that belly button, and then lower it right back down. Again, exhale, nod the chin, lift the head, neck, and shoulders. You're still holding those heels into the bar and making sure the bar isn't coming up at all. We're just holding it still. Exhale as you crunch up, holding that pedal still, and then inhale back down. Let's do three more like that. Exhale and hold it still as you crunch. And bring it back down. Last two to go. Exhale and hold. Reach the arms long. And back down. Last one here. We're going to exhale, hold. And give me little pulses with the heels. Down an inch, up an inch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the head, neck, and shoulders down. Let the pedal rest. Take the arms to your sides, take the balls of the feet or kind of the middle of the foot onto the pedal, and now from your spine, from the base of the spine, you're going to articulate and roll up into a bridge, one vertebrae at a time, and then you'll sink your spine back down to the mat, one vertebrae at a time. End in a neutral pelvis where the spine is nice and long, and let's go again. So you do a little gentle tuck, one vertebrae at a time, you're going to lift your spine up, putting the weight in the shoulders but not into the neck. And then one vertebrae at a time, you're going to slowly release your spine back onto the mat. Big inhale at the bottom, tucking your tail underneath you, scooping your abdominals in, rolling it up. Big inhale at the top, and then melting your spine all the way back down. Three more to go. Big inhale at the bottom. Exhale as you scoop, tuck, and roll. Big inhale, and then exhale, gently release. And let's do that again. You should feel nice and good on your back. But still working those hamstrings, of course. You probably are going to feel that as well. 
and then the next time we're up, we're going to stay there. So take it all the way up and hold it. We're going to pulse those heels down an inch, up an inch. Hello, hamstrings. Down and up. Try to keep those hips nice and lifted as you pulse. Doesn't have to be big. Three. And two. And one. And then let's roll it all the way down. Pull the knees into your chest, give yourself a little hug. And then take that right leg long, pull behind your calf. Take your left leg long, reach it towards the bar. We're gonna lift the head, neck, and shoulders and pull that right leg in twice and switch. Pull the left leg in twice. So the leg that's going to the chair is just resting on the chair or hovering above the chair if you want it harder. And we're just giving those hamstrings a little stretch before we do some more work. So we're just releasing the hamstrings. If this is too much on your neck, you can always lower the head down. There's no need to keep the head up. It's just gonna intensify the work, but I do not want you straining the neck to have the head lifted. So if you feel strain in the neck, let it come down. We'll go four, three, two, and one. Good, pull those knees back in and then back to the hamstring. So let's put the heels back on the foot bar, or that pedal, and then we're gonna reach the right leg in tabletop and pull the left leg down an inch and hold it. So you're holding the pedal down a little bit with that left hamstring. Reach the arms to the ceiling. Exhale, lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Holding the pedal still, take the hands behind the head, reach the right leg long, and then pull it back in. Reach the right leg long and pull it back in. When you pull the leg in, let's do a crisscross towards it. So twist towards it and back. Twist towards it and back. If you need a little rest, you let the pedal come up to the highest position. Right now we're working the hamstring, holding that pedal nice and still. Three. And two. One more thing on this side. The next time the right leg is straight, we'll stay to the center and just kick that leg up and back down. Kick it up, hello left hamstring, and back down. Nice work. Four more. And three. Last two. And one more. Set your right heel down. Press the pedal down with your right heel. Extend your left leg long. And let's pull the left knee in towards you and press it away. Good. Keep pulling the pedal down with your right heel. Now we're going to rotate towards the left leg when you twist and then back. So a little rotation, thinking of your right rib coming across to the right left hip. Good. Keep pulling that pedal down and holding it. If you need a break, you can let the pedal come up. One more here, and then keep the left leg straight. Kick it up and back down. Kick it up and back down. Good. Keep pushing into that pedal. You're doing a really great job. Last two. And last one. Nice job. Let's set that foot down. Relax the head, neck, and shoulders. Pull the knees into your chest, giving yourself a little hug. And then we're going to extend the legs long over the pedal. Now the legs are just going to rest on the pedal and towards the chair. And we're going to work into our 100. Reach the arms up to the ceiling. Take an inhale. Exhale, lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Reach the arms long. I want you to look right towards that belly and pull the navel in. Corset engaged. We're going to start that reaching of the arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Several options here to work with. You can keep those legs long and low, resting them. Or we can alternate. When you exhale, you lift one leg up and bring it back down. And then you lift the other leg up and bring it back down. So you can keep that option going and back down. Next option, both legs lift, but you can pull the knees into the chest and then extend them long. The knees into the chest and extend them long. Final option, legs are gonna both lift and you're gonna hold them up. So you hold them up and then you can lower them down. And then hold them up 
and lower them down. We've probably done almost 100, so we're going to stop in a second. But we could do one more and just keep the legs lifted the whole time, the whole enchilada, the whole 100 position. And we'll do one more set of breath. And then pull the knees in and relax everything down. All right, let's roll ourselves up and change our position. So let's bring the feet nice and wide so that your feet are kind of straddling your chair and reach the arms for the pedal. Take a nice inhale. We're going to drop it to a one and one. I like a lighter weight for this one. So I'm going to hook myself at the very bottom and then I'm going to bring my hands to the top of the pedal. So flex your feet, squeeze your quadriceps, legs nice and active. Nice long spine as well. Take a big inhale. And then as you exhale, we're going to do a little pull down of that bar towards you. And think of your ribs and your hips squeezing together and we're stretching our spine. So you're not pushing forward, you're pushing straight down with that pedal. And then you're bringing the pedal right back up and uncurling the spine. So it's an exhale as you curl. And an inhale as you stack back up. Now remember, my spring weight is just a suggestion for you. Some of you may need less, and some of you may need more. So the more you do the workout, the more you'll kind of understand where you might need to be, and you can make adjustments. Good. Two more to go. And then we've got one more here. So we're gonna round and hold. And then come back up. Now keep your left hand on the bar and then take your right arm to the horizon and press it up all the way along like you're trying to rotate your whole torso. Keep your hips grounded in cement, rotate from your waist. Now my left hand is pulling to my left in opposition. So I'm getting a beautiful stretch, it feels really good. And then I'm gonna switch, right hand to the bar Left arm's going to reach out to the diagonal. I'm going to pull my right arm to the right, pull my left arm to the left, keep my hips grounded, and rotate my whole torso. And then we'll speed it up, but not a lot. We don't need to speed it up too much. We're just going to add a little bit of movement side to side. But you don't want to sacrifice your stretch to do it nice and quick. So we're rotating and feeling that release, that wrap of the rib cage, and then coming back. Holding the pedal and pulling it to the left as you rotate to the right. And then come back. Holding the pedal and pulling it to the right as you rotate to the left. I could just do this all day. This one feels great. And we'll do one more to each side. And then last one to this side. Nice job. And then we'll come all the way to the middle and we'll switch positions again. So let's come onto our hands and knees. Take your hands on the pedal and pull that pedal down. So I'm on my hands and knees in a tabletop position. I'm going to reach my right leg back behind me and lift it up. And then I'm going to take my left hand and reach it on the small of my back. So I'm just holding this nice tabletop position. And I'm going to very slowly see if I can lift the pedal and lower the pedal. Lift the pedal and lower the pedal. A lot of what about chair is about control. So that pedal is going to want to go up really quickly, and you're getting the handle of it, of moving it slowly up and slowly down, and slowly up and slowly down. Easier said than done. And it might be enough just to hold this position and the pedal down. So if you don't feel like the moving is working for you, just hold yourself still. So a lot of great work here. Now hold the pedal down the next time, put the left hand on the pedal, turn your body towards the right, and come into a side kneeling position. Right hand on the hip, your right leg's going to lift up and down, and up and down. There's a line behind me, imaginary wall, and I'm trying to stack my head the back of my shoulders, my hip, and even my foot up against that imaginary wall. Good. Two more to go. And last one. Now we're going to try to hold the leg up and again move the pedal up and down. Up and down. Try to control the pedal from moving up too quick 
and down two quick. Good. Again, easier said than done. One more, and then hold the pedal down. Reach the right arm forward, the left leg back, and stretch, and then kick the leg back, hand to the hip. So we're reaching the right arm forward, right leg back, and then we're kicking the right leg forward as we bring the hand to the hip. So big, long extension, and then kick. Three. And two. And one. Nice job. We're gonna set that foot down. Turn yourself back to your tabletop position. Find your weight in your right knee, extend your left leg long, and lift the left leg up to hips height. Take the right hand with the small of the back, and then we're gonna get used to the left arm moving that pedal up and down. And if you get really comfortable with this, you're not even touching the floor, and you're not even going up to the highest part. You're just kind of hovering in the middle and moving with control in the middle of the movement. So you're not finding the top, you're not finding the bottom. Easier said than done. I'm gonna say that a lot today because this is a hard, the chair is always challenging for me. Do one more, hold it down, take the right hand back to the pedal, turn your body towards your left, left hand to the hip, your left leg's gonna lower down and lift up. Now your hips are square to the front, you've got that imaginary wall behind you, shoulders, head, hips, and even the back of the heel connected to that imaginary line. One more and then we're gonna hold that leg lifted. Now try to lift your right arm, bending the elbow, and straighten. Again, try to find just no end for at the top, no end at the bottom. You're just working in the middle. So never bottoming out, never coming to the top. Just controlling. A lot of abs here. Two, and one. Now you can set the pedal back down. Take the right arm, left arm forward, left leg back, big stretch, and then take the left leg forward, left hand to the hip. So you're reaching to the diagonal line and then kicking forward. Reaching diagonal line and kicking forward. Two and one. Good work. Let's set the foot down. Come back to hands and knees. Now, if you have a split pedal, you can go ahead and split the pedal, which means the pedal will move independent. If you do not have the split pedal, you just have to make a few adjustments here. So we're going to press the pedal down, shoulders and wrists in alignment. Take your right leg, reach it behind you. Take your left leg, reach it behind you. Now, if you're not working with a split pedal, you're just going to hold your plank. If you have the split pedal, you're tucking your tail. Everybody's tucking their tail, rolling the shoulders back. And now we're going to lift one pedal up and down, and the other pedal up and down. And what we're trying to do is not rock our hips from side to side. So I'm trying to do that. I don't know if I'm doing a good job or not, but I'm trying to keep my hips square. I might kind of rock my weight from side to side, but I'm trying not to let my hips open. Again, if you don't have the split pedal, you're holding your plank. Good, three more. And then we're gonna lower our knees down and press back and rest. Let the pedal kind of come up and come into a little child's pose. We have a second round of those. And again, I'll give you modifications if you don't have the split pedal. So let's come up again. Hands and shoulders in alignment, knees and hips in alignment. We're gonna press back to the plank. If you do not have the split pedal, you're alternating your right leg lift and down, left leg lift and down. If you have the split pedal, you're doing the same leg motion, but you're gonna have the opposite arm. So when the left leg lifts, the right arm lifts. And when the right leg lifts, the left arm lifts. Should I say it easier said than done? Nice job. Four, three, two, and 
one, really great. Set the knees down, press into that little child's pose and stretch your chest, relax your back. And maybe even catch your breath because I'm huffing and puffing a little bit. Okay, let's move the pedal back to one pedal if you were looking to split. And then we're gonna lean on our stomach. So I would err on the side of moving farther back than you think you need to because you're gonna grab onto that pedal. Remember when you pull it towards you, it's gonna come towards you and down at kind of an angle. So you're holding your hands on the pedal. Your legs are about hips distance apart. Your pubic bone is pushing into the mat. Big inhale to prepare. And as you exhale, we're gonna lift the chest and pull the pedal down. And try to lift up as high as comfortable for you and your back. Looking right over the pedal and then releasing the chest down and letting the pedal go back up to stretch our shoulders. And let's do that again. We'll lift the head, neck, and shoulders. You'll pull the pedal slightly down, push the pubic bone down, and lift your chest and hold. Three, two, one, and then release everything back down. And let's go again. We're gonna lift and hold. Three, two, and one, and release. Let's add on just one thing. So we're gonna lift the head, neck, and shoulders, pull the pedal down. You're gonna lift your right leg and left arm and bring them back. Your right arm and left leg and bring it back. So we're trying again to hold the pedal still as you do your slow swimming. Keep pulling that pedal down, drawing the shoulders down your back. Good, one more each side. And last one here. Let the pedal go up as the chest goes down and then you can gently release the pedal and work your way back into a little resting pose. So you can have your knees wide, drop your head, neck and shoulders to the mat and just take a recovery breath. Or two, or three. One more round of laying down exercises and then we're going to get to some fun standing stuff using our band. It's still there, I haven't forgotten it. So let's go ahead and lay on our back facing away from your chair. So we're gonna work our overhead jackknife and roll over. So you're gonna grab that bar, bring it towards you. Make sure that when you pull it towards you, you're far enough away that you've got about a 90 degree bend of your arms. Lift your legs in tabletop and then we're going to cross our ankles, separate your knees. So option one is we're going to do a little reverse curl, lifting the hips, pulling that bar towards you, and then lower the hips back down. So it's just a little reverse curl and back down. I don't pull too far, I just kind of pull my chair towards me. So if your chair starts to move underneath you, you might want to make sure you've got it on a nice stable surface, with a little pad under it. Good, now you may feel that this is where you need to stay and that is fine. So if you can uncross your ankles after this next one, we'll go into a little bit more advanced move. Your legs are gonna be straight unless your hamstrings prevent that, they can be a little bit bent. Into our rollover, so you're gonna take an inhale to get ready. On your exhale, you're gonna peel your spine up one vertebrae at a time from your pelvis and bring the feet over the chair as close to the chair as you can. Separate your feet, shoulders distance apart, and then roll your spine back down. Once your tailbone touches, your right leg is gonna to drop to the floor and come back up. When your legs are glued together, you go again. You exhale, lift your chest up, coming into your rollover. Separate your feet, hips distance apart. Roll yourself back down. Once your hips touch, your left leg is gonna lower down, and then you're gonna lift it back up and go again. We're gonna roll with the feet together all the way up and through the rollover. Separate your feet, roll yourself down. Bring your feet back together. This time you can lower both legs, lift your head, look towards your feet, lower your head, lift the legs. If that was too much, you can just keep alternating single legs. Let's do one more round. So you're gonna lift your, your legs over your head, 
Separate hips distance apart. Lower your legs down, bring your feet together. The right leg can lower down, and then you bring it back up, and then we do it again. Unless you're ready to just do both legs, and you can do that as well. I'm gonna stick with the single leg. So the next time you're down, your left leg lowers, and you lift it back up. Last one here, we're lifting the legs, separating the feet, lowering the hips. Bringing the feet back together and then lowering both legs if you can, looking right up towards your legs. Lift your legs, lower the head. Now into our jackknife. Make sure you're still pulling that bar towards you. Big inhale to get ready. Exhale, roll your spine up when you've gone as high as you can. You open like a, a big um, Swiss Army knife. You're going to reach those feet to the ceiling and then you're going to close, lower the hips. You can stick with a single leg lowering to the floor. You can go right to double leg lowering to the floor with the head lifted. And then you bring your legs up, lower your head, and go again. So you roll over first, Swiss Army knife. You reach the legs up. Then you lower the legs and close. Roll all the way down. Again, one leg can go to the floor. Or if both legs go to the floor, the head lifts. The head does not lift if a single leg goes. And then we'll go up with the hips. Swiss Army knife open, close again, lower the hips. Again, you have the option of a single leg or a double leg lowering to the floor. You've got two more, you lift the hips, you spring open like a Swiss Army knife, you lower the feet and lower the hips, and then the left leg goes or both legs go, and you pull in. Let's do one more here. You roll up, Swiss Army knife, Close it up, roll yourself down, one leg or both legs reach, pull them up, release the bar, pull the knees into your chest, and let's stand up. All right, time for some standing moves. This is where we're going to be using that band, and we will need to change our weight. So I'm gonna take it to three, which is the kind of second from the top, so number three. Remember, four is the hardest on my machine. So I'm going three and three. And then I'm going to stand, hold on to that band, and I'm going to stand pretty close to my, my pedal. So I'm holding one side of the band in each hand. My right foot's going to go on top of the pedal. Once I'm there, I have about a 90 degree bend at the leg, so I know I'm in a good position. And then I'm going to push that foot all the way down and back up. And you might take a few rounds just to get used to how this feels and get used to that pushing of the leg down. We're standing nice and tall, shoulders down the back, ribs drawing in, abs drawing in, pelvic floor drawing up. Once you feel comfortable, we're going to add an upright row. So as you push the leg down, you pull the arms into an upright row. Good. Nice work. We're going to do two more, then we're going to challenge our balance by alternating row right and left. So next time you pull, row only right. Good. And now row only left. Hello, it's a lot more challenging when you're doing one arm at a time, or at least it is for me. I'm still trying to control. Remember, I'm not trying to hit the bottom and hit the top. I'm keeping constant, kind of moving in the middle of my range of motion with that foot. Except for there. One more of each side and then stop in the middle. Do a row and hold. You're going to lift your left heel up and off the floor and back down. Lift it up and back down. Now you can punch the arms out to the sides every time you lift the heel. And I'm too close to the wall, unfortunately. It's like the only place to film. I already have to move my couch, which weighs about a thousand pounds, it feels like. So this is as far out as I can get, but both arms are pressing. As you lift the heel, you're holding the, the pedal still. Two, and one. Really good job. Step the right foot down, put your left foot on top. Now this is where, if your balance is tricky, I would rather you be by a wall and holding the wall instead of the band. So you're gonna push into the left leg, stand all the way up, doing a bicep curl and then bring the carriage or the bar down almost to touch and then bicep curl 
and then carriage down, or you know it's not the carriage, it's the bar. So you're going all the way up and bar down the hover. If this is too much with the arms, again, you can hold onto the wall, or if you have the handles, those are handy too. Two to go. One to go. Good. Now we're gonna step down, bring the pedal all the way to the floor, take your left leg all the way back. Your left hand's gonna be supporting you on the chair. Your right arm's doing a tricep press. So choke up on that band as much as you need to feel that work in the right arm. Nice job. Three more to go. And two and one. Release the band, set your left foot by your right, come into a little pizza slice, heels together, toes apart. You're gonna round your back and then pull up into a pike and then go down to a hover. Pull up into a pike and down to a hover. Try to lift your heels, squeeze your heels together. Tuck your chin gently to the chest and scoop those abs in. Three, two, one more, and then set the pedals down. Push the heels down to the floor, grab the chair on the far side from you and take it into a little kind of down dogish position, stretching the hips way back behind you. Now we're still not done with that same side. We've got two more exercises on this side before we switch. So let's come up, grab your band again. Let's step off the pedal and rearrange how we are going to stand. Unfortunately, I'm going to stand away from you the first side, but you'll see what's happening in the back. So I'm going to be standing on my left leg. That should be the leg farthest from the chair. Your right leg is going to be on the chair, one, one strap in each hand. We're going to push the pedal down and up. Your right foot is pushing the pedal down and up. Now I'm focusing on standing nice and tall before I do any kind of movement with my arm. When you are ready, your left arm is going to do a straight arm draw the sword. So as I push down with the pedal, my left arm is going out to the diagonal. Again, I'm controlling the pedal, I'm not letting the pedal control me. Two more. Hold your next one out. You're going to bend the arm and hold. Keep the pedal halfway up. Your left heel is going to lift as you punch the left arm straight, lower as you bend the arm. So you're doing the second half of the draw the sword, lifting your left heel as you punch, lowering your left heel as you bend. Again, I'm controlling that pedal and not letting it go anywhere, I'm putting it right in space. Three to go. And two. And one. Nice job. Set your straps down. Push the pedal all the way down. Take the left foot and hook the toes behind your right foot on the pedal. You're holding either side of the pedal. We're going into some up and overs again. So the scoops, but more obliques. So I'm on the side now. Now this one is the, one of those moves that the more weight you have, the easier. So if you're having a hard time on 3-3, three, three, you might want to go up to 4. 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. Let's step off. Let the pedal gently come up and switch positions. One more time on this side, and then we'll move to the other side. So this time I'm going to step closer towards my chair. So my right leg is kind of in line with the very edge of my chair. My left leg is on the pedal. I'm again going to hold one strap with each hand. Stand nice and tall to start, and then your left leg is going to push straight down and back. So remember when you're pushing, you're pushing a little out on an angle. So I'm working that outer thigh and move a little more. My left arm is not going to do anything, it's just going to hold the strap. My right arm is going to do an overhead press. As I push the pedal down, 
I'm punching the arm over my head. Good, three, two, one more, and then come halfway, hold the leg halfway. Let's challenge our balance, coming into releve on that right foot. So as you lift the heel up, you punch the right arm up again. So you lift up to the ball of the foot, punch up, lift up to the ball of the foot and punch up. Nice work. Three, nice and steady, two, and one. Let the pedal relax, turn back to the front. You guys ready for the other side? Let's see if we can do it just as well. So this time we're gonna put the left foot on. Again, make sure you're far enough back because when you pull that pedal towards you, it's gonna come down and towards you. So stack your spine up against that imaginary wall. Let's push the left leg down and up. Just make sure that you again are not bottoming out or hitting the top. I like to look right out in front of me. That's gonna keep your spine long. So if you look down, your shoulders start to follow and you start to Roll your body down. So we're going to lift our body up. As your rows, high elbow row. Nice work. Two more, and then we're going to challenge ourselves going side to side. So let's start on the left side. So row left. Good. Row right. I told you that single arm's tricky. Row left and row right, but you can do it. Just takes a lot of practice and control and moving slow without rushing. Four and three and two and one. Come to the center, hold the pedal halfway. Let's releve onto the right foot as you row and release. Releve, which means you're just lifting your heel. Again, easier said than done. Keep pushing down with the left foot as you lift up with the right. Three, two, one more. Good. Push the pedal all the way down. Step your right foot on top. Please catch, hold on to a wall if you know your balance is not ready for this. This is a pretty challenging move. We're going to step all the way up, put all the weight on the right leg. Do a bicep curl. Go down, but don't touch the bottom. Curl up all the way. Try to stand all the way up with that right leg. Big curl. You can always adjust your hands if you need more work so that we're holding farther up on the band. The band's also helping with balance here. Three, two, one more, and then we're very carefully going to come down, step the right foot back, Keep the hands on the chair. Your right leg's gonna go out in space. Your left arm's gonna choke up the band. Tricep press. Press back and forward. Good, keep those hips nice and square. Keep energy from the crown of the head all the way through the right toes. Three, two, one more. Awesome job. Set the band down for a second. Put your right foot on the pedal. It's time for our pull-ups. So your heels are together, toes apart. You're going to hold the sides of the chair. Tuck your chin to your chest slightly. Scoop your abs in. Big exhale as you pull the hips up. Resist them down. Pull up. Again, this is where more is less. So if this is too challenging, put on a 4-4. Four -four. Three, two, one. You made it. Good job. Push back to that little resting pose. Catch your breath. We've got 
got two more on this side. All right, let's come up. Let the pedal come up. We're going to turn to the side. So I'm going to have my right leg up on the floor, left leg on the pedal. And I'm going to again hold the band, one in each hand, and I'm going to push that pedal down and up. So I'm kind of standing with my right foot at the very edge of the, the end of the, of the carriage, where kind of when the pedal comes down, it will be right there, so my feet will be together. Now your left hand is just gonna hold the band. Your right arm is doing a draw the sword with a straight arm. Good, I'm like smashed up against the wall. So I can really focus on that imaginary wall behind me because it's not imaginary. So my head's against the wall, my shoulders against the wall, my hips standing really tall and proud. Nice job. Three to go. And two. Now hold your next one up. Bend the arm. Keep the pedal halfway down. We're going to releve the right heel lifts and lowers. When the right heel lifts, take your right arm and punch it out. You've got it. Again, if you need to hold on to something, you can. Or if you want to just do the arm and not the heel. This is definitely a challenge, but I know you can do it. It's going to work. Practice. Over time, it gets easier. It's all about controlling this pedal. Three, two, one. Great work. Let's set the band down. Push the pedal down. Your right leg is going to cross behind your left, so we're kind of facing the side. Your hands are going to go on to the chair at the diagonal, and we're going to pull up and back down. Scoop and pull with that left oblique. Resist it back down. Nice work. Three to go. Two. One more. And come down. Let the pedal come back to rest. We're going to have the right foot on the pedal. So my left leg is in line with the edge of the chair. My right leg is on the pedal. I'm going to pick back up onto that theraband. So stand up tall against that wall. And the right leg is going to push all the way out and back. So I'm pushing down and out. But I'm not going to push all the way down like I just did. Now your right arm is just holding. And your left arm is going to push over the head. But I think my side of my body is a little tighter. So I'm going to slow it down and control it. So as I push the leg down, I push over the head. Good work. Keep your gaze up. Nice. Do one more. When the pedal is halfway down, you hold. Lift your left heel up and down. Try to not let that pedal come up. Add your left arm when you're ready. So heel lifts, arm lifts, and down. Heel and arm lift, and down. Nice job. You can hear my pedal trying to move. I don't want it to. Three, two, and one. Awesome work. We're done with that footwork. You can let your band go to the side. We're going to sit for a little mermaid stretch. So I'm going to move it down to a 2-2. Two -two. So I'm going a little easier. 2-2 two -two for this stretch. So I'm going to face my right side to the pedal. My left leg is reaching out in opposition. Now I'm 5'10", so if you can't touch the floor, something like a stool or box might be handy here so you can ground down through that left leg. Take your right hand to the pedal, big inhale, and then as you exhale, we're gonna lean towards that pedal and try to just press your left hip towards the left and open up the whole side. Now rotate your pinky finger of the left hand towards the pedal so you're rotating your rib cage. Rotate it back open and then come all the way up. We'll do that same thing again. So let's go down, 
into the mermaid stretch, rotate towards the pedal, rotate back up, come all the way up. And let's come up all the way and do a little counter stretch. I forgot that one the first time, but that feels really good, so let's add that in. So we'll go over to the pedal, into your mermaid, rotate your pinky finger down, rotate it back up, come all the way up, and nice counter stretch. Good, this will be your last one. So you'll go over into your mermaid, rotate the pinky finger down, rotate it back up, come all the way up, and into your counter stretch, and come up. Now I know that was a stretch, didn't mean we were done, so we're gonna turn this way and do some abdominal work, and then we'll stretch on the other side, and then we'll be done. So I, again, I'm taller, so my feet are gonna be on the floor. If that is not accessible, put them on a little bench or a box. Hands going to the pedal, I'm gonna lift my chest, my palms are facing in towards me, lower down, knit the ribs and pull up. The less weight you have, the less support you have. So if you wanted to actually make this harder, you would go lighter. I'm already on a 2-2, two -two, so if you wanted it lighter, you'd go to a 1-2 or all the way to 1, your lightest setting. But I'll give you another way to make it harder without changing your springs. So the next time we're going to lift the right leg to tabletop and keep moving. And then if you think you want to try both legs in tabletop, just be very careful when you're doing that. And if you're just doing one leg in tabletop, you might switch to the other side. So you're doing the opposite leg. Nice job. Three. And two. And one. Now let's come up and set the feet down for a moment. Your left arm's going to go out in line with your ear, so it's reaching up to the ceiling. You're going to look to the right and push the pedal down with the right and then up with the left. So you're pushing down with the right and up with the left. Again, if you want more challenge, right leg can come to tabletop for this side. So the side that you're pushing is your tabletop side. And if you want even more challenge, both legs can go to tabletop. If that's a little too much, but you still want to work it, cross your ankles. Good. Three. Two. One more. And rest. Okay, we have the other side for that. Left hand goes to the pedal, palm faces you. Right arm in line with your ear. Look towards the left. You're going to push the pedal down with the left arm. Reach up with the right arm. Down with the left. Up with the right. You have the option of staying both feet firmly planted on the floor or a box. Left leg can come to tabletop if you want it harder. Both legs can come to tabletop if you want it even harder. And if you want to work tabletop but this is too much, cross your ankles. We're almost there, everyone. Last three. Two. And one. Really great job. Okay, the last thing we have to do is mermaid on this side. So if you made any changes to your springs for that, we are on 2-2. Two, two. So come back to 2-2. Two, two. So we're sitting kind of on that left hip. Again, the right foot can be on a box or the floor. Left hand on the pedal, and let's lean over into our mermaid. So relax your left shoulder from your ear. Try to create as much space from the right fingers to the right toes as you can. Turn your right pinky toe down to the pedal, <laughs> and then come back up, and then bring it all the way back up. Let's go again. We didn't do the counter stretch on the first one, so we'll keep it consistent on this side. So let's go into your mermaid. Rotate down, pinky finger towards the pedal. Rotate back up, come all the way up, and then into a counter stretch, opening the left side. And let's come all the way up, 
and into your mermaid. Rotate down, rotate back up, and come all the way up and into the counter stretch. Let's do two more of those lovely stretches into the mermaid and reach. Right arm goes pinky finger tap. Rotate it back up. Come all the way up and to your right. Last one, everyone. We're going to lean to the mermaid. Push the pedal down. Rotate closed. Rotate the ribs open. Come all the way up and counter stretch. Now, I did say that was our last thing to do, but I would like to do something else. I want to do a little stretch because we did a lot of leg work. That was a beautiful stretch on the arms, but let's do the legs. So I'm going to face my chair and my pedal's on the opposite side. So I'm going to do a little pigeon pose. So my right knee is going to come to the chair. I'm going to slide my left leg back as much as I need to feel this stretch. Now, if this is not feeling comfortable, you can put a box down and let your knee rest on the box. You could also do this stretch on the floor, so you can be on the floor. I like it here on the chair because I'm going to reach forward and put my hands on the pedal, and I'm going to gently let my head, neck, shoulders, everything relax as I push the pedal away and find that deep hip release. We did a lot of glute today, a lot of outer thigh, a lot of legs, so just giving those legs an opportunity to stretch for a moment. And then let's come all the way up and we'll do the other side. I promise this will be it. But it's okay with an added stretch, right? It didn't add anything crazy. So we'll come into the pigeon. So the way the knee is, it's kind of angled out to the side. So when I'm in this pigeon pose, my left heel is by my right hip, the very front of my right hip and my left knee is angled out to the diagonal. And then if you only if you need to, there's no need to go forward if you already feel enough stretch. And this is like, whew, stay there. And if you need it more, hold on to the pedal and very gently. And your body's gonna respond to very slow holds. So if you feel you don't wanna like push into it too intense too quickly, or then your body's gonna just um, kind of choke up and not stretch on you. It's going to tighten up. So we want to very slowly let our body get used to the stretch. And it's going to very slowly it's going to unwind. And then very slowly we'll come up. Take the hands to the chair. Step your left foot back to meet the right. Let's pull the chair towards us without it actually moving. Let your head, neck, and shoulders relax. So you're just coming to a little down dogish position. Opening through the chest, opening through the back. Taking a few big breaths in and out. And then when you're ready, you're going to roll your spine up one vertebrae at a time. And stand up nice and tall. And you have done it. Awesome job today. Thank you so much for working out with me. I hope you enjoyed the workout and please let me know if you have any comments, feedback, suggestions, and I look forward to working out with you again. Have a great day.